So welcome back to the WordPress basics videos. Now in this last video we went and we set our discussion settings. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and talk to you about permalinks. Okay. Now permalink settings. Okay. By default WordPress uses URLs which will have a question mark and lots of different numbers in them. Okay. That's not very good for search engine optimization and it just doesn't make for a great site really. You can see on this one, this is our first post. This is that sample post and that web address of this sample post is, you know, forward slash question mark P equals one, meaning post equals one. And that just doesn't make for a really good content to be honest with you. It's not good for the search engines. And then you can also do day and name, month and name, numeric, post name, and then custom structure. And what I like to do is I like to use the custom structure. Now I like to use I like to use this structure here. What it's going to be, it's going to be percent sign, okay, and then post name, then percent sign, okay. And what that is, is that is going to go ahead and it's going to use the title of the post as the actual URL. So instead of being on this one, instead of being question mark P equals one, it would just be, because the name of this post is hello world, it would be forward slash hello world. Okay, so I definitely, I recommend you change your post, your, your structure to that. Okay, and that's pretty much it. You can set your privacy over here. Um, this is going to allow search engines to index this site. Most people are going to have it like this, but if you're going to be doing a lot of work on the site before it's live, you might want to say for them not to index the site. And then you also have the media over here. And this is where you can set a whole bunch of different, different settings. Um, like you can set your thumbnail size when things automatically thumbnail. You can set the medium and large sizes for your images as well. Also, auto embeds, this is a neat feature. I like to check that off, okay, so that we can just place URLs directly from like Flickr and YouTube and it'll automatically embed. Um, everything else I pretty much leave standard on here, okay. So there really isn't anything much to change on this page. And I will see you in the next video. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to start installing some different plugins that will make your WordPress site function better.